assalamu alaikum hope so you people are doing well so today we are going to discuss about diameter of maternal pelvis and fetal skull so as i have discussed in my previous video about the pelvic inlet mid pelvic cavity and the pelvic outlet so now we are going to discuss about the different diameters of these inlet so this pelvic inlet uh, has a transverse diameter of 13.5 cm and antero posterior diameter of 11 cm uh, the transverse diameter is like this one and the antero posterior diameter is this one so now just see this diagram this is going to be the antero posterior diameter and this is the transverse diameter so here in the pelvic inlet the transverse diameter is the greatest and the baby will enter in this inlet in the transverse diameter and the antero posterior diameter is 11 cm now mid pelvic cavity in mid pelvic cavity the rotation of the head of the fetus takes place and as you guys can see that um, these two diameters are equal which means that antero posterior diameter and post, uh, transverse diameter are uh, is the same which is 12 cm and now see the pelvic outlet in pelvic outlet the transverse diameter is 11 centimeter and antero posterior 13.5 let me zoom out just see this that that here in the pelvic here in the pelvic inlet and here in this pelvic outlet the transverse diameter and antero posterior diameter are just opposite like for example in pelvic inlet the transverse diameter is 13.5 centimeter and in outlet it's 11 centimeter and the antero posterior in inlet is 11 and here in outlet is 13.5 uh, so the um, fetus uh, uh, will be um, uh, when coming out will be in 13.5 centimeter diameter which would be antero posterior okay so diameters of fetal skull as you guys can see let me explain this diagram uh, we have uh, different diameters uh, okay mento this word mental or mento is for chin okay so uh, at first just see the diagram uh, okay we are going to start from this one this is sub occipital frontal diameter and they are saying that this is the sub occipital that is below the occiput so sub occipital frontal and this is the frontal this is the frontal this is below the occiput occiput so this is sub occipital frontal diameter okay and now just see this occipital frontal diameter this is from the frontal to the um, occiput so this is occipital frontal diameter which is 11 centimeter okay and here this is sub mento bragmatic bragma was this anterior fontanelle so as you guys can see that this one from the anterior fontanelle that is pragma to the submento that is below the chin so sub means below wherever this word sub is being used that means below that thing submento pragmatic this is 9.5 then there is sub occipital pragmatic which means that from the pragma till the um, sub occiput so that is sub occipital pragmatic uh, diameter which is 9.5 and then there is this is the from the occiput till the mental that is occipital mental diameter which is 13 centimeter okay let me explain this in a little detail so that you guys can memorize this okay at first i just want to explain this the word attitude that i am going to use this word attitude attitude of fetal head refers to the degree of flexion and extension at the upper cervical spine so this is the neck so um, the flexion and extension at the upper cervical spine 
so for example here this is written attitude so what is what basically is attitude it is from well flexed till hyper extension like well flexed then less well flexed then extended then hyper extended so when attitude is well flexed then diameter is going to be sub occipito pragmatic and measurement is going to be 9.5 cm okay just see this this one and this one okay well flex is sub occipito pragmatic and here you guys can see uh, where is sub occipito pragmatic mm, i cannot see over here okay so okay this one this one this is sub occipito this one is sub occipito pragmatic okay so um this is going to be uh, 9.5 cm and um, this uh, attitude um, by the by the fetus is favorable for the delivery um, as well as this hyper extended which is face presentation in this thing the baby will also be delivered because the diameter is going to be 9.5 cm so um, just to memorize that whenever this word sub and bragma is there then that a fetus can be delivered so sub occipito pragmatic 9.5 cm sub mento pragmatic 9.5 cm so these uh, two can be delivered now let's see the less well flexed and extended brow presentation the less well flexed partially extended or deflexed this is the uh, uh, diameter is occipito frontal and it measures about 11.5 cm okay and here in extended brow presentation this is occipito mental and the diameter is 13 cm so um, this this one it's very difficult that this baby will be delivered because rotation will not take place because the mid pelvic diameter is at least 12 cm so that would be really difficult and this is brow presentation so uh this was all about the diameters i hope so you guys have learned and if you guys have learned this um so do subscribe and let me know in the comment section um okay so jazakallah khair allah hafiz